Archbishop Socrates de Villegas, President of the Catholic Bishops Conference of the Philippines, the Honorable Vice Governor of Negros Occidental, Vice Governor Pong Lacson, the Honorable City Mayor of Bacolod, Mayor Evelio Leonardia, our newly installed Bishop of Bacolod, Bishop Patricio Abelia Buson, his family and guests, the Honorable Ambassador to the Vatican, Tita de Villa, the Secretaries of the Papal Nuncio, Monsignors Arnaldo Catalan and Crispin Dubiel, the Archbishops and Bishops of the Philippines, distinguished papal honorees, distinguished sponsors and benefactors, Reverend Monsignors and Fathers, diocesan and religious, Reverend Brothers, Reverend Sisters, the Chairmen and members of the Executive Committee and of the different committees of the installation events and ceremonies. Our delegates from the different parishes and Catholic schools of Bacolod Diocese, delegates from Cabancalan Diocese, dear seminarians, brothers and sisters in Christ, maayong udto sa inyong atanan. I thank the Holy Father, O Francis, on his spirit-led choice of appointing Bishop Patricio Abelia Buzon as the sixth residential and ordinary bishop of the Diocese of Bacolod. Just give him a big hand, please. Thank you. I also thank our papal nuncio, Archbishop Giuseppe Pinto, to his secretary envoys, Monsignors Arnaldo Catalan and Crispin Dubiel, for recommending to the Holy Father the most suited candidate after a thorough and conscientious consultation. When I turned 75 three years ago, I tendered my resignation to the Holy Father in Rome. The Holy Father answered, I have to wait and to stay put until my successor is appointed. Thank God, after two years of prayerful waiting, my successor is appointed. Congratulate me naman. Thank you. Now, I believe the Diocese of Bacolod is one with me in saying, we have at last in our midst one who is chosen by God for us, one who deserves all the obedience and respect, all the cooperation and support, all the loyalty and love of the clergy, diocesan and the religious, and of the lay faithful of the Diocese of Bacolod, including our religious sisters. It is common knowledge that Bishop Pat succeeded me as Bishop of Cabancalan. And now, he succeeds me as the sixth Bishop of Bacolod. May nagsiling, ah, kung amo, agod ba obispo ka sa Bacolod, obispo ka alay sa Cabancalan. But you know, this is how God works. Yes, He works in so many wonderful ways we cannot understand. But it is according to His will. Adveniat renium tuum. Bishop Buzon, a while ago, 
the priests, diocesan, and religious representatives of the Negros Occidental Women Religious Association, or NAURA, the lay faithful representatives of the different religious organizations and movements and the basic ecclesial communities together with the high-ranking officials of the province, the cities, and the towns, as well as the military officials within the circumscription of the Diocese of Bacolod, all of them paid homage to you. As I was looking at them, their respectful kiss to your Episcopal ring, their warm abrazos, may be so be so far, their strong handshakes with smiles on their faces simply attest that deep in their hearts they want to know you more and better. They want to be closer to you and to be sincere about it. May aragid man nga mga katahap, may mga pagpang tutay nga kakulba siguro, no? But at the same time, all over all of this, yaragid ang ila nga handog kagugma nga magpalapit sa imo kag ikaw ang ila nga dangpan, amay kag manugbulig. Bishop Pat, I assure you, they are all good-hearted people. Yes, they are not perfect, but deep in their hearts, a nobility of spirit is embedded such that they are always open to receive your advices and suggestions. They are open for dialogue and discussion. Yes, even for some needed admonitions. Bishop Pat, today, I resign and retire deeply grateful to the Lord that in His great love and mercy, He has provided a good and understanding Father, a wise and prudent teacher, a solicitous and caring shepherd of His flock, the Diocese of Bacolod, in your person, who is a great lover of people under His care, just like your patron saint, St. John Bosco. My beloved people of the Diocese of Bacolod, our diocesan clergy, religious and diocesan, dear sisters and lay faithful, I take this opportunity to thank all of you. Kapasalamat kita ko sa inyo tanan for all your kindness in accepting me and bearing with me as your bishop for the past 15 years man lang. I am deeply grateful for your prayers and cooperation as we lived and served together the Diocese of Bacolod despite ourselves. I say, dear brothers and sisters, friends all, they were all good years, memorable and grace-filled because of you. Dahil sa iyo. But I also beg your kindness to forgive and to forget whatever aches and pains I might have caused you one way or another. Finally, I say, Behold your new bishop. Cherish him. Love him. Cooperate with him. Support him. And never forget to pray for him. Madamo nga salamat sa inyong atanan.